What's up guys, welcome to another Project Bombshell video. We've got more cosmetic stuff to wrap up on this one. We have Chris here today with us <laughs> as our brother-in-law and he's gonna be helping us wrap a couple things on the car. We've got an awesome color and uh, surprise, it's white. You can't really tell the effect of it right now because it's inside, but you might be able to see a little bit of a sheen to it. It's actually called Ghost Flip Pearl uh, in gloss, not satin. And uh, Melissa wanted to do kind of a blue and white theme. And what's really cool about this color that we didn't know about until we got it, it almost has like a sandy texture look to it. And the, when the light hits it the right way, it almost has this golden color. So it looks like sand. So it's got a little island, you know, and the water around it. <laughs> I so, didn't think about that. I know. I just thought about it the other day and I was like, that's kind of cool. So, yeah. but yeah, shout out to Chris. I'm going to tag his Instagram below. You guys can check him out. Go give him a follow. They just got a Mazda CX-5 he's wanted to do a couple things too. And they got this really cool, what color was the wrap? uh avery diamond silver yeah it looks yeah. sweet so i'll try and grab a shot of that for you guys to see as well so it's pretty cool so uh, we're going to do a bunch of things not just the roof we've got a couple things in the engine bay i'm going to do some stuff on the interior so stay tuned it's going to be sick show the dog show the dog and we have skyler with us hey stephanie say hi <laughs> <laughs> much exciting yes. his wheels look so good dude oh my god with the brakes just wait till we get the rockers on with the side splitters. It's gonna be sick. So you can kind of see where the tension's pulling and you can right. pull away from that. Huh. Tell me to stop if I'm fucking anything else. Oh, you're fine right now. <laughs> <laughs> You can either stop or keep going, it doesn't really, it doesn't make a difference on stage. Heck, Nick. The master. How long have you been wrapping cars good. now, Chris? Uh, five years. Oh, nice. Yeah. Five years in the game. I've been a 3M preferred installer for four of those years. So. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah, I've been around the block. I've been around for a couple of us days. <laughs> So this is actually 2080 film too. So they have like that top layer of uh, stuff on it. And I guess the intent there is to help so that you don't scratch the wrap material when installing it. Not that like you would heavily scratch it or anything, but like it can come about when you're squeegeeing. Yep, so, there's any dust really like, yeah. that can get on there, can slide across and give you a, yep. a, a slight abrasion. It's not that different from like detailing, honestly. Yep. So it's like fancy material and pretty cool stuff. So he just peeled that layer off so that now it's like the finished product. And then I guess it's gonna cut the edges and then the roof's almost done, I guess. It's pretty quick. Yep. edges shit's clean so roof wraps all done I got the trim pieces back on there give you guys a quick look there I think it looks mint that's just the first part we started throwing a little bit on the underside of the strut tower bar so we're gonna have some nice seams on this and then it'll the middle section will be wrapped and then the outside edges will stay blue
So I took a couple minutes and I uh, got all the chrome rings from the dash out, prepped and pulled out of the car. Um, this is for the shifter, and then we have these rings for around the subs and the doors. Unfortunately, you can't actually separate these because they're plastic welded together, but all that stuff's prepped. And then Chris just knocked out the strut tower bar. This thing looks freaking mint. With that white across the middle and the blue edges, that's gonna look sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking pretty great, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we got all these pieces prepped. I got them all wiped down. They're all off the car, ready to go. Chris has started working on some of the chrome pieces. We got one thrown in the car, just for example. And man, that shit looks so good. The camera probably doesn't capture it quite well, but the white against the carbon fiber, huge. But he's gonna finish that piece up. We're gonna go ahead and run, go get some food, um, get some seafood and whatnot while they're out here. And then we'll come back and get this wrapped up later this evening. We got dinner, we're back now. Chris is knocking a bunch of stuff out, singing his own songs in his own little world. It's funny, enjoying his music. <laughs> but we got a couple things in the dash so far. We got the one uh, vent over there and then that one's done. The shifter assembly has one around it so two of the three chrome pieces on the gauge face are done so he's wrapping up the last one now and then we'll be able to put that together and then throw that back in the car and then there's just these couple pieces left and that's i think that's pretty much it in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and start working on trying to get the rocker panels clips all switched out so i can mount those onto the side of the car as well oh wow that's that looks really good so good All right, so we just wrapped everything up. You guys will get to see some finished shots after this. But uh, Chris and Stephanie are going to hit the road. Huge thank you again, Chris. I really do appreciate you coming out and doing all that stuff for us. Honestly, he did a phenomenal job. Some of the edges on like, like these pieces, they're not like pieces you can just wrap straight. If you're familiar with wrap, it's not something you would do. And he has like this edge that goes across. And it, it honestly, mm. so I'm excited for people to see this stuff in, in person and kind of see how, you know, good of a job and high attention to detail we had on everything. Um, Melissa's still deciding what she wants to do with these guys. So I think the white looks pretty sick. Since we just did the face, because the edges are kind of difficult, you get the blue to carry over. It's, it almost gives this like 3D effect. So we'll see what she wants to do on those, but really cool. Tomorrow's like the last day we have to work on this thing before it goes out of our hands into um, tint and wet sand and buff later on in the week. So we'll be wrapping up the rockers and splitters and you guys will get to see all that done. We'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and uh, give you some more like shots of everything when it's all said and done and cannot wait to pull this thing out in the sunlight and see all the color come to life on that roof, dude. Know, so cool. So yeah. Huge thanks again. Guys, check them out on Instagram. Don't You're ask me to wrap your shit, because that's, that's for us. <laughs> but no, thank you again, man, so. Yeah, yeah, you're very welcome, guys. Tomorrow. That looks so good. Yep. So it's a bit of a later start than we originally were thinking today. Had lots of adulting to do. Ah, mosquitoes, dude. What do you think, like right there? Oh yeah, for sure. Do you need to like mark it? With like a Sharpie or something? That's what I'm doing. Marking it. With a hole. It's where you want it, right? Yeah. So now I can go ahead and mount that one and then drill the rest of the holes. Um, the other thing we've done so far today is we did go ahead and get the exhaust adjusted. As you can see, it's got that BS Express fitment. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. What else have we done? Uh, cleaned out the interior. Oh, vacuumed. Yeah, you did. You vacuumed. Your car yeah. and my car. Thank you. You're welcome. At least I could do. Must have we prepped in full swing. I'm so excited to see this. It looks so good. Once it hits the ground and shit. Huh? Once it like hits the ground. Oh yeah. So we mounted the pony, five row badges. Those look really good. Mm -hmm. I also got the side splitters mounted on the rocker panels. Mm -hmm. We're going to put these on once we can roll the car outside and then drive it up onto our ramps. So those are all set. You guys saw the rear splitters and diffuser all mounted on the car and everything, so that's good. About to mount the side scoops and just a little trick that I do 
when mounting stuff that uses 3M, I usually peel off a little bit and then like fold it so that's easy to access. So when I mount it, I basically, once I've positioned it, I just pull the strings and then press. So it makes it a little bit easier to line it all up and everything. You don't have to worry about like all of the 3M catching and uh, not being where you want it to be. So with these, you basically just follow the body line. It's right about there, I think. A good deal. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Pretty much. Mount the rocker panels, and then I think your appearance stuff is done. Wow. Aside from tin and right. what's in box. Crazy. I told you it was going to happen. I'm blink from an eye. That's what you kept telling me. Time is gonna be like that. Yep. I wasn't wrong. Not wrong. This car didn't even drive Wednesday. A week ago. <laughs> it hasn't even been a week. <laughs> no, it's been like four days. Yeah. Five days. So with those side scoops done, we are about ready to move on to doing the tint on the tail lights. We're doing the inserts here, third brake light, and then the reflectors down there in the bumper. So um gonna try and get some footage of this i apologize if uh some of it's kind of hit or miss on what all we're getting obviously we're working into the evening at this point uh well not even evening it's pretty late at this point um and this is like the last day we really have to do some of this stuff so i'm uh, just trying to get it all knocked out real quick so i apologize if the footage is a little spotty at this point forward be a little better to say that daytime but as you can see we got all the lights blacked out there and then the little reflectors got a little tin action on them so they're not as bright red and that's uh that's it for the booty which looks fucking good dude damn so all the tint that you guys have seen us put on the car is from anchor room and uh, they're actually a sponsor for the build so you guys can check them out and use code pokemaster for 10% uh, off of any order that you you know make with them for tint whatever it be they actually have other vinyl stuff uh, you can get like paint protection film for the headlights which I think you might have seen that we did I don't remember if we showed that or not but I did put PPF on the front of headlights just to keep the the PS lighting solution headlights looking mint they also have some other vinyl stuff like you can get like uh, flag roof wrap some like tribal type stuff for the size of the car and whatnot there's lots of cool stuff out there so if that's something you're interested in I definitely recommend checking them out they make a quality product and uh, what's cool too is they also have like this goof proof policy where they'll basically offer you a replacement piece for like i guess cost or similar which is a solid deal in the event that you know you make a mistake because mistakes happen <laughs> So again, definitely recommend checking those guys out. I highly recommend them. I've always enjoyed using their product. Their stuff's on my car as well. That was from a while ago now, and we definitely went right back to them because I liked their tint and uh, it's, it's held up really well. Cuts are really precise in terms of like fitment and everything, so it all fits really good. So at this point, we really gotta get the car out so we can put the rocker panels on and the splitters and everything. I think that'll look pretty good right there on the side of the window there. Her Instagram tags can go up there along the windshield. And then we'll probably throw the Go Hide Racing decal maybe up there, kind of like we did on mine. Because if you weren't familiar with Go Hide Racing, they've also helped us a ton with all this stuff um, in terms of getting all this, you know, getting parts ordered and then taking care of us in the pricing. So also recommend checking out Go Hide Racing. You can hit up Devin Hyde for any of your OEM needs and some aftermarket stuff as well. He's a vendor for a number of different companies out there. Solid dude, great customer service. He'll get you taken care of no matter what it is. We already did the other side. So, this is like the last piece of the car. Just gotta throw the front mud flaps on. She done, bro. 
That looks really good. good. Yeah. I'm excited to see when we pull it back off. It's yeah. actually on the ground. I'm excited to see it like in daylight. Yeah, that too. <laughs> so yeah, the front mud flaps are held on by these two clips. And these are usually held on by the two clips too, but since we're putting the front mud flaps on, it goes on, then the clips. Gotcha. Anyway, we gotta do the bottom clip too. On the bottom of the rockers, there's like eight push pins that have to get in, put into place. So we gotta run those real quick too. And done. We installed the front flaps too on both sides. I was going to throw your anchor on the room, and then I remembered that I don't want to do that until we coat the windows. Yeah. And then, uh, that's the final part list, right? Yep. The only thing left is hook struts, but it's not really necessary. Right. So i say that's the last. Mmm. That looks so good. There you have it guys, there's kind of your first look at the car as it's just about done, as you can tell. We're both, both pretty tired at this point. So um, there's a couple things that have to get done to wrap the car up officially. It has to go get the windows tinted. Um, we have to take it to the paint shop, uh, m and and have them do a final wet sand and buff. Um, and then there's a couple little things, like tomorrow we're gonna try and get the AC recharged for the car. What else is on the list? Yeah, we're gonna scratch the list off. Oh, yeah. We took the list off, obviously, because we were driving it. We were driving. <laughs> All right, so we did the brakes. Mm-hmm. Drive shaft. Drive shaft. That was like last time. Shit, we were yeah. behind. Roof wrap, other wrap. Whoop, mm -hmm. whoop. Splitters installed. Hood struts. We'll get to that later. Um, we have insurance, which yep. is not. Title sure. registration. Yeah. We did the wipers. We did. Yeah, and um. Yeah. So Instagram tag and then the deck logo. It's Those in, the are in the mail. Yeah. And so window tint, that's tomorrow, like I said. AC recharge, hopefully tomorrow as well. Uh, burnout, probably not gonna happen. She's a little, still trying to learn the car I wanna drive the car more than, I have um, an hour and a half. Of seat time? Of seat time. Yeah. Mustang week. Yeah. Um, and then Wednesday, paint correction, ceramic coating. We're gonna not worry about that beforehand, probably sometime after we come back. And then Mustang week. Wild. That's crazy. This one is gone. <laughs> we only have two more on this. And like the hood struts, like, it's not like make or break, but they, they don't take any time to put on at all. Right. The deck lid logo actually should be here like Monday or tomorrow or Tuesday, I think. Probably. And then this is the one I'm worried about. Title and registration. That's the only thing left to worry about at this point. Yeah. Well, and window tint. Yeah, we haven't I, heard back, but we'll I, see. Yeah, I mean, I want the window tint done, obviously, but like, if I don't get it done, like, it's not that big deal. Yeah. Like, you just won't have that murdered out look. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it would look. It's, it's gonna look so good when it is done, but like, it's, yeah. like the amount of work we've had to do in the past week, like, I don't care. Like, I want it done, but insane. For context, again, today is Sunday and Wednesday the car didn't drive yet so it drove the first time Thursday at like one o'clock in the morning yeah about 1 30 in the morning Brian a little break-in drive I don't think I even showed that because it was just one of those things that we had lots we'll get into all that stuff in a later video story time, story time. just it's gonna be a good one stay tuned for that it's a it's a ride. It's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> yes. Your tears. Yes, I didn't clean it up yet. Right there. <laughs> That's where she cried on the car. <laughs> oh, I should put that up. For actual Mustang we prep that like normal people do. <laughs> this has been wild, dude. I can't believe the car is like like 95% done at this point crazy hopefully you guys have been enjoying the bombshell project bombshell videos it's been crazy non-stop and like i apologize this stuff is coming out so late compared to when we actually do all the work but obviously as you can tell it's just been you know non-stop trying to get the car done for mustang week and it's actually happened it's happening <laughs> it's happening
cue the office meme. Yeah. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay so again, if you guys have enjoyed the videos, please consider hitting the like button for us. It helps and it will help spread awareness of this awesome project. And um, yeah, at this point I can officially say, I might not have bought my wife her dream car, but I have built my wife her dream car. Pretty cool. Even better. Once we get it picked up and it's all wrapped up, we'll get some really cool like cinematic shots of everything out in the sunlight, trying to capture all the really cool color shifts that'll go on with the white and the blue and everything. Trust me, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So obviously subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more videos and content like that. We try to keep it awesome here. You can also always check out our Instagrams. Those are tagged down below. Uh, Pokemaster BS 5.0 for my car and then Bombshell 5.0 for Melissa's. That's where you're gonna see all the really cool pictures that we have like our buddy James do of the cars. And I cannot wait to get some pictures done of both of these cars down at Mustang Week. It's gonna be sick. James is phenomenal. Check him out, JSP Auto. I'm gonna link him down below. So there you go, James. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, there you have it. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So peace out. We will catch you in the next one.